Hi. I'm sure your organisation, like many, many others, have been struggling with the whole concept of diversity, equity and inclusion, DEI. And the reason I want to talk about DEI this week is because the challenge has been elevated. Not only do we have the identities in DEI that we often refer to, such as gender, nationality, race, sexual orientation, um, nationality, um, religion, etc. So we have that diversity. We now have two more identities that have been added. Those who work in the office and those that work remotely. So this not only elevates the challenge, but elevates the leader um, competency needed to make sure that there is equity and inclusion when they are leading their hybrid team. So this not only requires an increase in competencies, it also requires new skills, capabilities and competencies. And I've called that group of leadership competencies the inclusionary. And the inclusionary works hard to make sure that everyone is treated equally and everyone is included. So the first thing that the inclusionary is, is the conscious leader. They are self-aware. They are aware of their own biases and baggage. So they dump the baggage and they dump the biases. And you have probably heard proximity bias. That's when a person holds the work done by someone they can see in higher value than the work done by someone they can't see. No logic in it, no sense, but it's a bias. There's also the baggage that, oh, people are more productive if they're in the office. And we know that's a load of codswallop as well. So the conscious leader dumps that baggage and gets rid of the biases so that they can treat everybody equal. There is no preferential treatment regardless of where you work. Everybody's on the same playing field. Everybody's in sync. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.